So today our rebuild is going to be the wheel of overall rebuild challenge. And you're probably thinking, what does that mean? Well, I saw King of the Fourth Quarter do this a few months back, and I thought this was a really cool idea that I wanted to bring to the MLB scene or the MLB franchise. So what we're gonna do is position by position, we're gonna spin a wheel. And whatever overall that lands on, we have to pick a position or a position. We have to pick a player that fits in that overall. So say we do catcher, it lands on 80. We can pick Yachty because Yachty is an 80 overall. So we're going to obviously do that. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's a lot of randomness involved. I think it's going to be a good challenge. Let me show you our wheel. So this is what we're working with. A wheel that has a bunch of different overall categories. 60 to 69, 70 to 74, 75 to 79, 80 to 84, 85 to 89, 90 to 94, and 94 to 99. The higher increments only have one piece on the wheel. Every lower increment has like two or three. So I really want the lower overalls to be chosen because obviously this is a rebuild challenge. I don't want Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, so on and so forth. I definitely want this to be a challenge. You guys can kind of see what the different chunks are on the wheel. So it's going to be really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go catcher, first, second, third, short, left, center, right. We're going to pick one starting pitcher, one closing pitcher, and then a bench bat, and then the rest of the team. We're just going to pick and I'll tell you the stipulations for the rest of the team. So what we're going to do now, let's just hop into it. Starting pitch here. Here we go. I don't know what we're going to get. What are we going to get? We got 70 to 74 for our starting pitcher. All right. Next one. Closing pitcher. What are we going to get for this one? And it is 75 to 79. Not terrible. Not great. Could be worse, I guess. What are we going to get for our catcher now? This one, I kind of hope we get a little bit of a higher one. 70 to 74. Eh, maybe Omar Narvaez fits in that category. That would be great if he does. First base, what do we get for first base? Oh, no. 60 to 69. That's not nice. Uh -huh. I'm kind of stopping to right, guys. That's why you guys kind of see me leaning off. Um, The next one is second base. What are we going to get for second base? This one, it doesn't really matter. Second baseman are pretty easy to come by. 75 to 79, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Um, what are we going to get for third base now? This is for third base. Same thing, 75 to 79 for third. What are we going to get for short now? This is the big one. I really want a high-rated one for shortstop. And we get 60 to 69 that one's not good that's that's one that hurts so we're gonna go left field now i don't even know a shortstop that would be good for that that category left field 80 to 84 i'll take that that's a good one that's a good one indeed um center field now what are we gonna get for center field we get 90 to 94 for center field no way and then right field what do we get 60 to 69 makes sense right we get a good one we got to go back down for right field all right so what we have now is we need our bench bat and that's really the team guys so what are we going to get for our bench bat 60 to 69 awesome all right so what i'm going to do for the rest of the team is i'm going to pick players that are no higher than 74 overall to fill out the roster i mean at least we got 190 to 94, right? So let me show you the team that we're gonna work with. Alrighty, so here we go. We're hopping into it. I just wanna show you guys the settings so that you guys can see. Um, we're gonna do a three year rebuild. Budgets are on. Yeah, and then we can't force any trades. So you guys don't think I'm like going and cheating anyway. So I'm gonna get the roster set up. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, let me get the ratings handy to talk to you guys. Let's see, center field, there was no um, 90 to 94 available. So I went with Acuna, who is originally an 89 overall. You guys are gonna be, where's the roster that you're using? It's right here on screen. So 89 overall. Acuna is our center fielder. I thought about doing Cattell Marte, but I went with Acuna instead. Second base, we had 75 to 79. You guys can see Jonathan Scope was a 79. Next up, Miguel Andujar for third base. Same rating, 75 to 79. He's a 78. It's just the morale boosts are bumping him up. Left field, we had 80 to 84. I went with Fran Mel Reyes, who is an 81. You guys can see that there. Um, shortstop was one of our low ones, 60 to 69. 
Nice. We have Wander, Samuel, Franco, the 18 year old. He is starting uh, first base. We had 60 to 69. Kevin Corona is getting a huge morale boost. You guys can see he's a 69 overall. And then catcher, we had 70 to 74. We had to do it. La Tortuga, Williams, Astudio. He's a 72 overall. Um, oh, right field. We had 60 to 69. I went with Aristides Aquino. He's a 67 overall. For the bench, I said I was going to go from 70 to 74. So I brought in rookie Trent Grisham from the Brewers. He's a 74. Um, Franchi Cordero was our bench bat. Our bench bat was 60 to 69. You guys can see Franchi Cordero is a 69. We also have Willie Adamas, who is normally a 71. Isaiah Kiner Falefa, who is a 70, and then Matt Dice, who is a 70 as well. So that's the team that I assembled. We'll take a look at the pitching. So our ace was 70 to 74. I went with Reynaldo Lopez, who is a 74 overall. For the rest of the pitchers, obviously we had to go 70 to 74. We went Taiwan Walker, who's a 74, Daniel Mangden, who's a 74, Casey Mize, who's a 73, and then Zach Plesak, who has a 72 overall. Brad Peacock is our long reliever. He's a 74 overall. Brandon Brennan, who is a 73 overall. Michael Lorenzen is a 72 overall. Julio Urias is a 73 overall. We have Daniel, or not Daniel, Brandon Kensler, who's a 71 overall. Kyle Crockett, who is a 74 overall, and then Joe Jimenez, our closer, who is a 75 to a 79 overall. We have a 75 overall closer. So that's the team I went with. Um, I went for some players that we normally don't ever try to get. Um, some of the positions that I thought about changing it up, like Jonathan Scope, I thought Luis Urias of the Padres, it's just his hitting stats don't really develop well. Third base, I thought about Scott Kingery. Um, left field, there were a few options that I thought about. Domingo Santana, Kyle Schwarber, but I thought Framel Reyes would be the best option. First base, there was like Kevin Crone was an option, and there were a couple other ones. I thought about Andrew Vaughn from the White Sox as the prospect um, was one. Right field, I could have gone J.J. Blade and a couple other um, prospects like Alex Kirilov, but I thought, you know what, let's put Aristides Aquino in there, let's have some fun. And I decided to go the route of players that have decent potential that we could trade in the future if they don't ever pan out. So that's what kind of I was thinking. We should probably get players who we could trade for the future rather than players who are going to be good um, right now. Because I think if we could, if they don't develop, we could just trade them and get something good in return. So that's the team. I'm not going to bring anybody up. We are within budget. That was another thing I had to keep in mind to make sure we didn't pick any players that had really bad contracts. That was another thing I tried to keep in mind that I knew was going to be difficult. So that's the team for season one. I'm not going to make any changes. I want to see how this team develops, how it plays out. And um, I'll see you guys at the end of season one. Alrighty, so season one didn't go too well. Um, 71 and 91, it was a little bit rough. And I kind of expected that. Um, I'll show you guys what we are ranked. We are currently ranked sixth. That's a lie. We're ranked 25th. Uh, we're a pretty bad team. And we finished last in the central by quite a bit. No awards, no league leaders, but we'll take a look and see who won uh, MVP. Nolan Arenado had a pretty good year. Um, and then Aaron Judge won it for um, the American League. Cy Young was Chris Sale and then Walker Bueller. Rookie of the year was Vlad Jr. who got traded to the Pirates and then Eloy Jimenez who uh, put up some really good numbers. So let's take a look, see how our team did, see what we could do to change it, maybe make some trades in the offseason. Um, Jonathan Scope didn't do as good as I would have hoped, but I'm still going to try to bring him back, see how he does. Fran Mil Reyes struggled a little. Mm, he didn't do terrible. Um, he's only going to get better too, so I don't expect much. Uh, I only expect him to get better, I should say. Trent Grisham, not terrible. Um, not a lot of power, but in limited appearances, did quite well. Wander Franco, obviously when he started out the year, he wasn't highly rated, so I wasn't expecting too much for him, but he definitely ex over, you know, he exceeded my expectations. Kevin Cron, Crone, sorry, Kevin Crone, pretty solid year. 25 home runs, Willie Nastudio. I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. And Aristides Aquino, 15 home runs, 230 average. Our bench, Willie Adamas. I want to get him involved somehow. Maybe he... 
how are we going to get him involved? Miguel Andujar had an amazing season. Um, I don't know, but he looks really good. Isaiah Kiner Falefa looks like he did really well. Matt Theis did really well. So I think the team offensively, I think we're set. I think this is the area we're going to need to improve on. And looking at the ERAs, looking at the whips, looking at everything, um, I think we got a decent two pitchers right here, but these guys might be a little bit of a question mark. And then we look at the bullpen. Ew. Besides Brad Peacock and Joe Jimenez. Oh, man. That was rough. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sim to the offseason, see how we finished. Um, Joe Madden decided to retire. We lost a couple of our coaches as well. And, uh, yeah, let's just keep going. Let's just keep moving forward. Exclusive negotiations. Let's see if we can get Jonathan Scope for, like, a season. Um, because I feel like we have, like, Willie Adamas who could step in season three and be that guy. Brandon Kitzler, I don't want to bring back. He wasn't as good as I would have hoped. And we'll let the rest of the guys go. We'll try to find a new staff later. I'm not too worried about that now. So, with that being said, 40 man, not worried about it. Um, arbitration, we'll, we'll offer everybody arbitration. Contracts wise, we'll definitely offer everybody contracts. And then um, when we look at free agents, do we do need starting pitching? But I'm gonna I'm gonna give the starting pitchers one more season. We do need to fill a couple uh, bullpen spots, at least one. And then when we look at the the lineup, I thought the lineup actually is going to come together really well. And I think this is a good spot to be in. So I'm not too worried about the, the lineup. I think it's more the pitching I wanna improve on. All right, so season two, really the only change that we made during free agency was signing Sean Gilmartin, who's actually a 78, but um, you guys can see he's up to a 81. Um, the bullpen was a huge disappointment and so was the starting rotation. The thing is, I'm gonna give the starting rotation a little bit more time to develop. I think we, we have a really strong core here. And if we really need to change anything, um, we can change it come season three. This is the area I want to improve on the most. Um, and if we do, we definitely, I'm only going to trade MLB players. So if we're going to, if we're going to get a new player, we're going to have to trade from the MLB roster. So with that being said, let's see if we can find a new reliever. All right. Kyle Crockett for Chaz Rowe of the Rays. Um, attributes look pretty good. Had a good year last year. So we're going to take a new right-hander for the bullpen. Um, what I was looking at from our lineup was that that's AAA. But I was kind of looking, and Aquino is kind of the weak spot here. Uh, Estudio played well. Crone did well. Wander Franco did well. Everybody pretty well hit the, like, did pretty well at, at the plate. Really, Jonathan Scope was kind of a, down, a downer. So maybe we trade Don Jonathan Scope, um, see if we can get like another a bullpen arm that we're pretty comfortable with and maybe trade lorenzen for i don't know maybe like a another bench bat and then we can move one of our bench players to second base um we're gonna go scott oberg for michael lorenzen i really want to try to give lorenzen another shot but um i feel like if we want to push for the playoffs we got to strengthen this bullpen i don't think i've ever traded for him so let's do it i'll roll this chapman uh, we're going to pick them up for two seasons for Jonathan Scope and Brad Peacock. Um, why not? Let's see what happens. So now after those changes, this is how we're looking. Um, Julio Urias, I mean, technically could be a starter for us. Um, and then we just move one of these guys to the fifth man. But, you know, or the sixth man kind of long relief role. But I feel like we're pretty good how we are. We definitely strengthen that bullpen. Um, and what we're just going to do is we're just going to move Willie Adamas as... Um, that second baseman because he actually played really well last year um i am gonna move the lineup a little bit just to kind of work to what's what we have best but outside of that i like the team we played pretty well offensively i think it was the pitching that let us down let's see how season two plays out all right so we just i'm talking we just snuck in to the postseason 94 and 69 as a wild card team you guys can see we've hit the pittsburgh pirates on the last day of the season as the tiebreaker so league leaders acuna unreal season as you guys can see from those stats okay and then when we look at awards he won the silver slugger and hank aaron because nolan arenado again went off holy cow uh you guys can see stanton and arenado were the mvps bumgarner for the pirates was cy young along with chris sale 
And then Rookie of the Year was Cabrian Hayes. And then Taylor Trammell. Okay. All right. Um, nice, nice, nice. All right. So when we take a look at our team, Reynaldo Lopez fell apart the second half of the season because he had a 3-4 ERA at the trade deadline. Taiwan Walker stayed about the same throughout the whole year. I'll definitely take that. He's getting better. I like to see that. Um, Casey Mize, unreal season. Very, very good season. Um, Daniel Mangden as well, really good season. And Zach Plesek, definitely pitching above his rating. I like to see that from these three guys. Even Taiwan Walker. Reynaldo Lopez might be a trade piece come next season. Julio Urias, oh wow. He had a 2-3-8 ERA at the deadline, so he really struggled. Uh, Brandon Brennan did well, Chaz Rowe did well, Gil Martin did well, Oberg did well, Jimenez struggled, and Chapman did well. So everybody besides Jimenez in the bullpen and Urias. So Jimenez and Urias really struggled, but these guys right here in the middle relief, really solid. I like to see that. That's good. Our bench, not as good as last year. Acuna is obviously putting up crazy numbers, MVP type numbers for sure. Willie Adamas is actually not bad. That's uh, he might be a player I hold on to. Fran Mil Reyes, I don't want to trade him because I know as soon as I trade him, he's gonna go off. But I think we have to and get someone who can actually hit the ball. Miguel Andujar is putting up crazy good numbers as well. We're not trading him. Kevin Crone's doing pretty solid. Um, pretty consistent to what he did last year, so I'm cool with that. Wander Franco is only going to get better, so we're going to keep him. Trent Grisham has been okay, but we'll have to wait and see if we can find somebody else. And Williams Astudio is solid for a catcher. I'm not going to trade him. And Franchi Cordero has been okay, but we definitely can improve on the corner outfield spots. And then I feel like we got the infield sorted, the center field spot. So we definitely want to figure out the corner outfield spots, maybe a starting pitcher, and then maybe maybe some bullpen help, maybe like one bullpen arm. But we're not too far out of the, the postseason. And we have one game here to see if we can make it through. So what we'll do is we will quick manage, hop it into Wrigley Field, hop in myself into the corner. And then we'll just keep... I almost played this game, didn't I? We're going to play, quick manage, boom, 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 hop into this. All right, we're going to let, I don't feel like Reynaldo Lopez is the right option for this. I feel like Casey Mize is definitely the guy to go to here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simulate by half inning, see how things go. And we're down one nothing. And can we get that run back? So far, oh, we do. We get two runs. There we go. How are we going to do here? Aquino, nothing. We're still up one. Things are going pretty solid. That's definitely uh mize's last inning uh we did get a run there which is awesome so in the eighth we're gonna go to our setup man jimenez perfect estudio nothing there and we're gonna go to chapman to close the door perfect we're taking on the dodgers in the next round of the postseason and two runs a home run and an rbi and a double for miguel andujar so he definitely pitched well so heading into this next matchup Let's just move everybody down a day since for some reason it, it did that. So we're going to do that. And let's just keep going. Game one against the Dodgers, we lose pretty badly. Two, we lost pretty badly. And game three, we actually win. Mangden, we win. Ooh, can we come back? Can we win the series? This is interesting now. Um... Both of these guys struggled. I guess we give it to Plesek and just hope things don't go too terribly. We're going to take it inning by inning. Looking at their team, they got Victor Robles. That's a new addition there. Um, ooh, two runs in that inning against Walker Bueller. That's huge. 4 nothing, 4 nothing. All right, 4-1. to one. Okay. Um, we're going to take Plesek out here in the seventh. We're going to go to Urias. Against his former team, he allows two runs. Really? Um, we're going to go to our setup man in Jimenez. I should have went to the lefty. I should have went to Gil Martin. And that's our season. 
that's unfortunate. One, two, three runs there. Probably should have went to the lefty with their stacked lefty lineup, but pretty good for a team that isn't highly rated. We're performing well above our rating, and I like what we're putting together. We're definitely going to make some changes here in the offseason, so let's see what we can do here. Um, we'll take a look. Definitely going to offer Taiwan Walker a contract. There's no reason not to. He's been pitching decently, like a four or five starter, so that's definitely someone we can work around. Um, and then when we look at this, Scott Oberg, how did he pitched really well. Might as well offer him arbitration. Mangden will offer him as well. Julio Urias as well, even though he kind of ruined us in the postseason. And Chaz Rowe, as much as I want to keep him, I think we can find a little bit younger of an arm. Everyone's going to get a contract here. And then when we look at free agency, we definitely want to find maybe a starting pitcher. Um, is Trevor Bauer the answer? I don't think he is. I don't think Marcus Stroman is either. So I think we're going to trade for a starting pitcher. And then for the bullpen, maybe we pick up like a Blake Trinan. Maybe not. 447 ERA. Um, Robbie Erlin struggled. Any closers? Kirby Yates, maybe? Kirby Yates might be an option. Um, any other like good bats i said we would kind of needed to figure out the corner outfield spots maybe a david peralta Alrighty, to start the final season season three what we're gonna do is require a new left fielder austin meadows not the best in the field we're gonna move him to left for uh reynaldo lopez and aristides aquino which means sorry friend mel reyes your time is done we're gonna go for yusei kikuchi let's give him a shot let's see what happens all right, so you guys can see, we, we kind of made a big splash in free agency, signing Mookie Betts. Um, this is the best I've seen him perform in a sim style franchise. So I, I decided, let's give him a shot. Let's see what happens. This way we can move Acuna down a little bit in the lineup and see if that helps us out a little bit too. Moving Austin Meadows to a left fielder definitely boosted his rating. You guys can see what he's sitting at now. And then the rest of the team, I feel, is pretty solid. Um, like I said, I don't want to trade any of our no <laughs> um i didn't realize that wander franco wasn't in the lineup but i didn't want to train any of the farm system i wanted to focus solely on the lineup that we created from the wheel of overall rebuild challenge so basically we're going with what we have so we don't really have too much to trade um okay he's unhappy but I just don't know how. Oh, yeah, we also got Blake training, but I don't know how to get Jimenez into a, like a closing role um, and make him not unhappy. So maybe we trade him. I feel like with the lineup that we have, we should pitch pretty well. Our bullpen looks solid. Um, I even considered maybe Julio Urias starting. Mm, no, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. We're going to see how it goes. If we need to, we could always make a change at the deadline day but i feel like for the most part we have a pretty solid team here um i guess we could trade like matt dice we don't really need him let's trade matt dice and get a better pitcher all right kevin crone i decided to trade instead of matt dice um for mike clevenger we're gonna give him a shot he's had two pretty solid seasons so let's get that stronger starting rotation going okay this is the team um we're gonna throw matt dice at first and then with Yuli Gurriel and then Marwin Gonzalez being the um, guy that we signed. So yeah, that's the team. Not much has changed. I actually want Matt Thice here. Where is he? And then Williams Astudio is going to be our catcher. I'm going to make that change since he's just been hitting the ball so well for us. Um, but yeah, team's pretty good. I like it. I feel like we've definitely made the changes to make us a lot stronger. So let's just see how it plays out. Um, I kind of like what we put together. Let's see how it goes. All right, so as we finish the year, unless something crazy happens, I don't see us not making the postseason. Yeah, we won the division 106 and 56, taking on the winner of the wild card. So we all know that means I'm losing. Um, Aroldis Chapman had the most saves. Yusei Kikuchi had the most complete games. And he also had the most innings pitched. Awards, gold glove, and delivery man of the year. Corey Seager was the MVP, took it away from Nolan Arenado, finally. And then Michael Conforto in the American League. Okay, back-to-back -back good years for him. Jeez. Cy Young went to Blake Snell, 
had a pretty solid year this year and walker bueller won the cy young this year for the national league second time in three years for him and then we'll go to the rookie of the year hunter green 14 and 4 okay five era interesting he uh nate low 32 home runs was rookie of the year so all right all right pretty solid so we'll take a look at the standings we are the sixth ranked team as you guys can see there pretty solid we've definitely turned this team around 106 wins i think we were the second best team yeah second best team in baseball pretty nice pretty nice let's take a look at how things went casey mize has been an absolute beast for us i normally don't like picking him up in franchise but this time he actually did really well kikuchi same thing did really well my clevenger not so much which is disappointing zach plesak is a little bit of a beast who would have thought and taiwan walker same thing not terrible either julio urias pitched very well oberg struggled a little bit brennan did well gil martin did well jimenez solid blake trying and struggled a little bit and a role chapman was lights out love to see it only three blown saves the entire season you you just love to see it let's take a look at our bench really quick yuli guriel that's what i'm talking about limited plate appearances but when you were you know you made the best of them isaiah kiner falefa was okay not not as many appearances as previous seasons marwin gonzalez not too bad either as a bench bat and then david Bodie probably got called up that means someone got sent down who got sent down um let's go figure it out Probably Franchi Cordero. Why did he get sent down? Um, we're going to remove him. And let's go just take a look. Let's go see why Franchi Cordero got sent down. But um, Franchi Cordero was hitting 269. I don't understand why he got sent down. He wasn't having a bad year. Mookie Betts hit 283 with 27 home runs and 32 doubles. I'll take that. Wasn't as good as his previous seasons, but still very solid. Austin Meadows. Good pickup for us. Definitely a lot better than what Fran Mill Reyes was doing. Uh, 35 home runs, 43 doubles for Acuna. Really good year. Um, I'm actually going to go take a look and see what Fran Mill did. I remember now. I remember now. It was the Mariners in the Yusei Kikuchi deal. There we go. Had a had a had just a, a duh moment for a second. Fran Mill Reyes hit 290. Of course, we trade him away. What does he do? Has a pretty solid season. Um, but I'll definitely take what Austin Meadows did very comparable miguel andujar has been amazing for us this entire rebuild very good pickup willie adamas as well pretty solid pickup at shortstop really good love to see it matt dice was good at first base in his first full season we got trent grisham who struggled a bit we might even let might even let marwin be the dh at that point astudio la tortuga is a beast at catcher and then Wander Franco is only getting better, which is crazy to think about. So overall, we've put together a crazy good team and we are taking on the Rockies in the postseason and we're about to get eliminated. What a surprise. You know the deal. If we take on the wild card, we always lose. So we're going to let Clevenger take the mound. We're going to move myself into the corner. And we're going to lose to the Rockies, a team that we are definitely better than. So we're just going to sim it by half inning. You guys can take a look at their lineup. Yes, they have Story. Yes, they have Arenado, Blackman, and stuff. But that is not a team that should be putting up 13 runs on us like they did last game. So we're down 4-1, to 4-2. to two. Clevenger's probably got, what, one more inning left in him? We'll just pinch hit for him now. Um, we'll, go, we'll go Grisham. And then we'll just boom, boom, boom. We tied the game up. Hey, hey, Urias, come in. Give up two runs, of course. Why wouldn't he? We get them back. Um, we're going to let Urias go. We're going to take him out here, though. And we'll go Blake Trinan. Shuts the door perfectly. Six to six. And we lose. That's, that's how we lose. That is unfortunate. That we lost to a team that does not deserve to beat us. But it happens all the time in sim style franchise that's just the way things go which is unfortunate because we put together a super team and we just got absolutely crushed by a team that actually they might end up winning the, the world series let's go let's take a look and see what happens the phillies defeat the rays okay 
Um, would you like to advance? I don't because I want to take a look at this team that we assembled once again. I mean, look at this team. I'm pretty sure everyone's locked up for the future. Um, Chapman's not. I wouldn't resign him. You definitely could find someone cheaper that'll do just as good. Yusei Kikuchi is a player I would definitely bring back for like a two, three year deal. Clevenger, I would not. Um, yeah, you guys are set. Anduhar, ooh, sign him up. Yeah, you got the money to play with. You could even bring back Chapman for a season if you wanted to. This team is stacked. It's got a really solid foundation. You got some young guys. Mize is looking good. Plesak, Taiwan Walker is not bad. Um, and then this part, Acuna, Meadows, Anduhar, Adamas, Thais, Estudio, Franco. The team is looking really good. And to think we all started this from just spinning a wheel, picking some overalls, picking some players, and seeing how it went. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. The Wheel of Overalls Rebuild Challenge. If you did, like the button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.